we're done with the ceremony now it's time for boarding i'm just gonna quickly talk about the immigration going through immigration was super slow we stayed on the line for a very long time and i didn't like that at all i don't know why people do not like to take their job seriously people are going through a lot of stress just to travel and this immigration officials are not even helping matters but going through security was very quick i just hope the officials should really look into it and help process passengers faster you know make the facilitation easy for passengers and even for themselves but that's by the way I feel renewed walking the Avio Bridge and you can see social distancing markings has now become our constant companion like a shadow. Well, it's a new normal for a travelers now and it's going to remain like this for a very long time. Hello. Hi, you're welcome. Uh, thank you. You're 35A, madam. Window Thank you. Seat so number 35 is at the back of the aircraft. It's been several months since our last flew, so I'm curious to see what has changed, what services are you getting and what ones you're not getting. Everywhere is clean. One thing that I've noticed is that sanitization of the aircraft has doubled since COVID-19. Health and safety of the crew and the passengers are now top priority for airlines. Crew members now had protective gears on, gloves and masks that you could barely recognize them. Wow, this is the face of travel. You know, these cabin crews that really look used to brightening up our travel. Each time you see them inside the aircraft, they're always very cheerful, smiling, looking so elegant. Now, this is what they look like this time around. So, most of the flights you will see, this is what you get. We are all seated. The time now is 2.05. Okay, I can see the chairman of the airline, Alain Ifechiko Nyema. He just walked in. I'm not sure he's going to be on board his aircraft. I can see he's you know, busy saying hello to passengers and making sure that everything is okay. Let's go see what's happening there. Okay, so I'll get back to you after we must have finished with him. I feel very happy because APC is trying to afford uh, the Nigerian flying public. A direct flight to Joburg and back to Nigeria. So instead of going around the world or going around Africa before getting to Johannesburg, just a matter of less than six hours, we'll be there and back. So it's something that we look forward to doing at greater heights. Uh, we promised Nigerians six years ago when we started the peace that uh, we are not only going to interconnect cities in Nigeria, and communities in Nigeria, but also interconnect this country with other nations of the world. Gradually, we are getting there. We don't want to kid ourselves that uh, we are the only one on the route for now. There are so many other people, some other people also, who want to come there. So, for us to sustain the tempo of whatever we are doing, we have to be pragmatic, we have to uh, be strategic too in our planning. And uh, like I said, we've been following our business plan since 2014 meticulously. Everything we said we would do in 2014, by the grace of God Almighty, we've been able to achieve them. And uh, we believe we can do more with uh, articulate planning. So uh, the era of saying that Nigerian airlines are pushovers is gone and gone forever. All we need is the enabling environment to, uh, to perform, and I bet you will perform more than you know your expectations. The fact that APC is going to go in there will help to boost economic progress between both countries and is going to improve our uh, bilateral relations. So, I mean, it's something good. It's no longer one-sided. They are spraying the aircraft. That means that we're ready to leave. Now we're beginning to taxi and the time is uh, 10 minutes past 2 a.m. Nigerian time and the flight time is 5 hours which is actually a short flight for this kind of aircraft. It is actually a 14 to 15 hour flight aircraft. As a matter of fact, this particular one is an extended range which takes you further than the regular 777-200. Finally, we have taken off on route OR Tembo International Airport, Johannesburg. Time is 2.20 a.m. Nigerian time.
being on board this flight, I didn't really quite know what to expect. What have changed and what have not changed the rules guiding flying this time around. So I'm not going to do a lot of review. In order to minimize contact with passengers, everything has already been pre-laid out for us, like the blankets, pillows, headphones, and amenity kits. And I'm particularly happy that airlines still have in-flight magazine on board the aircraft and it's wonderful because initially a lot of airlines removed in-flight magazine due to COVID-19 but I'm happy knowing that in-flight magazine have been recalled on board aircraft so I'm gonna keep it here. The amenity kits, everything inside the kit is still the same and then you have your headphone. There's a blanket, it's still sealed so I'm gonna tear it open. It's very soft. I just love the feel of this blanket. It's really beautiful. And then I have a fluffy white pillow. I'd already removed the seal. This is my pillow, very fluffy and soft. So the normal thing they usually have is what you get. I think I dozed off because I didn't even know when the meal was brought to me because it's early in the morning. It came pre-packed. And this is still to minimize contact with passengers as much as possible. So let me see what's inside. It's even hot. I have uh, grilled potatoes with chicken and vegetables. I have fruits and I have uh, yogurt. I have muffin. I have butter to go with it. I have, uh, what's this inside this one? Let me look at what's inside this one. This is croissant. Then I have bread wine and water but there's a whole range of wine you can choose from they have white wine red one uh, marula i'm not a fan of a marula they have juice they have soft drinks they have beer depending on your preference but everything came prepared already like i said they tried to minimize contact with passengers everyone on board is wearing a mask no more loitering around the aisle after meal, people just worried about sleeping and I want to go to sleep now. water cannon salute thank you all our tambo international airport for honoring our flights with this beautiful water cannon salute you can only get it from one side from the side of my window and it's still beautiful i totally appreciate it There's 
nothing on the tarmac. Where are all the planes? We all our tempo that I know before COVID has a lot of traffic, lots of airlines going in and out. The whole place is empty. It seems as if we're the only arrival here at the airport for now. But in all, it was just a lovely flight. Oh, our Tambo International Airport. Hi. Did you enjoy the flight? Yeah, it was nice. South Africa as a country takes this very seriously. This is a health declaration form as well as a contact tracing form because you're going to leave your address, which is supposed to be your hotel address, and the phone number of the hotel if you're not a resident. So I'm just going to fill my own here before I leave the aircraft. Coming down the escalator to go through immigration. Where is everybody? It's practically empty. I think I'm the only person inside this airport. Okay, okay, okay. I can sight them. They are at the baggage claim area. Yes. Announcement from the public announcement system reminding you of the protocols, COVID-19 protocols, you know, rules and regulations. That is lovely. I'm now going to immigration. There are social distancing markings. It's subtle. I can see the ones on the immigration line. So I'm going there. Beautiful song in the background too. You know, so nice. At least you can see. Everywhere is just empty. Now I'm at the baggage claim area. Immigration facilitation here is fantastic. Unlike Moritala Mohammed International Airport, it did not take me a second to go through. So facilitation was super fast. You can see the whole place is empty. It seems as if we're the only arrival. Passengers have collected their luggage and they've left. Journalists are still here taking pictures. They are happy. <laughs> as if they were let out of a cage. So good to be here. I never knew OR Tambo Airport is this beautiful. Facilitation easy. And do you know the airpiece airlines dropped us as if we were just paperweights. We just landed so smoothly. I enjoyed every bit of it. I am glad to be here. Check out the baggage carousel, like something that's been polished every second. And they have about 10 of it, six on this side and four at the other side. Very clean. It's well put together. It's in order. Not the one that could just, you know what I'm talking about. I guess you guys are thinking what I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't even want to begin to compare, but this is what you call baggage carousel. This is actually how you get it in a lot of airports around the world. It is a very beautiful airport. It has won a lot of awards as the best and the most efficient airport in Africa. So I'm walking out to the waiting area from there. We will leave to the place we will call home for the next three days. Let me show you around. You see everywhere is empty. Unlike the old tambo that I have been to before. It looks eerie, spooky. It's so surreal. This is sad. This goes to show how deep travel has indeed fallen. This is our tambo. This is the waiting area. And you can see this shop here and closed as well. So you can see some passengers are waiting for their loved ones. And from here, we're going to proceed to a place that we'll call home for the next three days. And I'm really proud that APIS is leading the way and breaking boundaries in just a short period of time. And I'm not surprised there are a few passengers on this flight though. And why are they calling it post COVID 19? From all indications, this is far from being over. Travel is still down, which is evident from the amount of empty seats 
you get on board aircraft a lot of people are not traveling anymore family travel has gone drastically down leisure travel is nowhere to be seen business travels has gone visual this time around because of a lot of COVID-19 rules and protocols in different countries around the world and it hurts to see the industry that I represent, that I love so much, reduced to this level. This is heartbreaking. But I'm happy to make this historic trip to Johannesburg and experience what flying is like once again. I'm happy and I'm grateful. We're going to Sainting, which is about 45 to one hour drive from airport here. This is the Maslow in Santon. So this is where we'll call home for the next three days. And I wish you a very prosperous year. Stay safe all the time. Wear your mask in order to keep yourself and your loved ones safe. Thank you very much and bye-bye.